she was way ahead of her time. Rose O'Neill, best known for her creation of the Cupid doll, was by 1914 the highest paid female illustrator in America. Annette Sane is director of the Ralph Foster Museum in Point Lookout, where a collection of O'Neill's work is on display. She illustrated for um, Puck magazine at a time when all of the other, um, you know, artists were male. And so she sort of broke that glass ceiling. O'Neill was born in Wilkes Bar, Pennsylvania and raised in Battle Creek, Michigan. She and her family lived in many places around the country before settling in the Ozarks at a place just east of Branson she called Bonniebrook. This is where in 1909 she created the famous Cupid comic strip character that ultimately became a doll. She created this little doll that was nude and was uh, in the comic strips in the newspapers every Sunday. David O'Neill of Springfield is O'Neill's great nephew. It's funny the artist in New York, there's artists and there's illustrators, but they don't classify an illustrator as an artist. And that's part of the problem because Rose was both. And while Rose O'Neill was most known for her creation of the beloved Cupid doll, she also had what some may have called a darker side when she created Sweet Monsters. Mythical characters more than anything and just uh, cre uh, creatures of her mind is what it amounts to. Her imagination is incredible. Her productivity, the amount of drawings that she could produce in a short amount of time was mind-boggling. Branson-based actress Marshall Hazelstein wrote and starred in a one-woman play called The Illustrious Life of Rose O'Neill. I was able to look at all the journals, her um, novels, her poetry. Uh, so basically I did a lot of research. In fact, I looked at all of her correspondence that the family had kept. But with the depression and interest in the Cupid doll fading, O'Neill spent her later years without much money and on April 6, 1944, she passed away from heart failure at the age of 69. She was a woman, she was very strong, and she made her mark in the world. And that mark is set to be remembered this September in New York when Rose O'Neill will be inducted into the National Women's Hall of Fame. It makes you feel great that they're finally getting the recognition she needed and should have had years ago. Rose O'Neill in Ozark's Sweetheart. Crystal Blair, Ozarks first.